Well, it wanted to be a Subaru. Okay, so I've adjusted, adjusted the ignition timing and done some other things to it. I reprinted the piston and connecting rub and got a metal fist pin. So now that the uh, now that it's all set up, it does have a small leak out back here. I think I can fix it by just putting some JB Weld in there or something. Sadly, I think that's from the last test, but I think it should have enough to run, hopefully. Okay, hopefully it's enough to run. Just hope. It's cold in here. Just hope she runs. She's firing. I wonder if I spray some butane in there. Ooh. There we go. Okay, so new ignition system is sorted. Um, well, not new ignition system. Uh, bigger battery is sorted, as you can probably tell in the background. And it has a much stronger spark now. I was just testing it and it fired with like very, very little compression. So I think we've got a much better chance. That was some solid firing. Boom, just like that. Compression is back. Weird, I'll have to throw some JD Weld on that. I like it. That was a loud one. Nothing's broke yet. Oh yeah, she's firing. Nothing's broke. Although compression is like nearly gone and it's leaking through the, not through the head, is that warm I wonder? Or is it, I guess. Oh yeah, she's firing. Nothing's, I mean it is and it isn't. That was a solid one. Okay, so I thought I'd update you guys. I was going to film me putting the engine back together, but sadly, uh, that would, I mean, I probably could have. Uh, it would have been pretty long and it'd take a lot of editing, but I got this gasket material. In fact, my dad had some of this cork gasket material, and I used some of that. I cut it out, and I made my head gasket out of it because before, it blew the RTV silicone out, and I blew the head gasket, basically, with the RTV silicone. So... I got some of this with some olive oil for the, uh, I don't, someone, I was told to put olive oil in there for the gasket to in soak it in olive oil, so that's what I did. And it turned out really good, has amazing compression again, uh, no compression loss, and I sanded the head and the cylinder down. I should, oh, I didn't take a picture of that, but I sanded the uh, cylinder top and then the to the bottom of the head against that perfectly smooth with 220 grit sandpaper on a glass plane, which turned out really good perfectly smooth um i think it's ready to test i do think it needs more flywheel weight but everything's put back together it's in there and it's got great compression again um and i still got to figure out fuel system but everything other than that it's ready to test again so yeah all right well i was testing it and this gasket works really well but it needs to be tightened a lot in order to get enough compression for the gasket to seal and in the course of doing that, it worked really well. And it, uh, when I was testing it, it had good compression, but it, uh, I had to tighten it up a little bit more because as I was using it, the gasket kept compressing more. So I had to tighten it up a little bit more. And sadly, I don't know if my phone will pick up on it, right here along this where the edges are. And then underneath here, inside there where, that, where the edges meet together. And then you can, oh, you can see it right there. If I flip the engine around, this side's the worst. Let's see if I can push up on it a little bit 
completely is ripping the layer lines apart there. That is the next weakness. It's completely ripping the layer lines apart there. Um, there is a way to fix that with the within the slicer settings. I could print this thing on its side. I don't know how well that would turn out, but that would make it so it won't rip there. Uh, because right now it's just pulling the layers apart. But sadly, that's my first weakness I'm having right here. Second of all, it doesn't have enough flywheel weight. It fired and then uh, that broke and then I lost compression again because it was seeping through the gap in between here, even though there's a little bit. But when it was under compression, it would seep through there and out the other side. Uh, the JB Weld didn't, I mean, the RTV didn't stop that. But it ripped all of that along here, all along that layer line because the ABS is stiff and it just pulled the layers apart. Um, I did get another piston printed out just for the heck of it, so I have a spare. This one is out of my carbon fiber filament. I had to wait for the filament to dry because polycarbonate likes to soak up moisture. This is what the previous one looked like. Amazing quality, right? But let it dry for two and a half days. Get, uh, get this. Beautiful. Um, but yeah, so this project's going to be postponed for a bit. I'm having two options now. My first option is I'm going to buy or cast some cop a copper plate that so I'll basically re I'll redesign this so that it just stops right right where the intake port is it'll go across and it'll just stop there even maybe a little bit lower but it'll it'll just stop there or I'll redesign it somehow it'll just stop right there and on the top here I'll braze on I'll take this copper pipe out and I'll braze on some uh some of that uh some some that copper sheet I'd cut, I'd drill a hole out of the center of it, and then I'd braze it on, and that would be basically this piece, but it'd be out of like maybe three, four millimeter thick copper plate. It'd be brazed on there, and then my head would still bolt on there the same, but then that plate would, would, would be a lot stronger than 3D printed pieces right there. That was my first idea, and my second idea was using my forge. I could just, I could cast this part out of aluminum and just basically completely remake this part, except out of aluminum, which would be a lot stronger but uh, the only issue with that is it would, uh, it would definitely postpone this project quite a bit. But either way, I want your guys' opinion. But yeah, those are the two issues I'm having now, or I guess multiple issues. But yeah, now it's on to the next part. So give me guys, give me your guys' opinions in the comments on what I sh what you guys think I should do, and I'll hopefully get back to all of you. Um, thank you guys for watching, and make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and see you in the next video.